Good. What's your question? You said that women that wear trousers will go to hell. But what? I didn't say it. The Bible says it. God said it. Okay, God said it. But what if you do obey the word and do all that thing? And it's all because of trousers. Does it mean that you will go to hell? So let's read it again. Read what you just said. No, no, no. Stay where you are. Because 1 Corinthians, first Corinthians okay. chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So whether you, you keep all the commandments and then you break one, you understand? Eh? You have broken all. Go ahead. So if you dress well, if you dress well, you are modest. If you have modest dressing, hold on. What if you are a, like you are a modest dressing, you do everything but you are a liar? Will you go to heaven? Why? Let's finish this, then I will go to Revelation and show you something. You understand? You know what I want in Revelation? Last book and all liars, yeah? Let's go. Look at 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 9. Know ye not that your righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters. So he said, Be not deceived, neither fornicators or idolaters. No idolaters, no effeminate, no abuse. He said, No effeminate. Do you know what it means to be effeminate? Have you seen men that behave like women before? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's not only gay. Some you see some boys that will be talking like girl. They have very, they'll be behaving like girl. You understand? Huh? Those people God said they will go to hell. Read again. And no, you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. No adulators, uh -huh. no adulterers, uh -huh. no effeminate, uh -huh. no abusers of themselves with mankind, no thieves, no, no, no thieves. You see, when you are a thief, you cannot go to heaven also, read. No covetous. You say if you, are a, if you have a covetous spirit, you cannot go to heaven, read. No drunkards. No people that drink and get drunk all the time, drunkards, read. No revilers, no extortioners. People that extort, people that fight, you fight and quarrel with your friends, you won't go to heaven. Shall inherit the kingdom of God? I didn't say that. Bible said that. What's your question? My question is that if you are doing all those things together, the week, and later they not repented and become a Christian, you can still go to hell. Good. That is why we are here. Eh? That is why we are here because we want go to Lamentation four. Read verse forty for me. Eh? This is what the, see what God says here. See what God says here. This is why we are here. God has sent us to come and correct the people and teach our young sisters, our young brothers. To teach them eh, so that they can start keeping the laws and commandments and repent. If you want water, I will give you water. Don't be in a hurry. You understand? Read what you have. Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 40. Let us search and try our heart, our ways. So see. Pay attention. Lamentation 3 verse 40. This is why we are here. You understand? Read. Let us search and try our way. So God said, let us think. Let us think and examine ourselves so that we can change. You understand? Read. And turn again to the Lord. And turn again to the Lord. Turn again to the Lord means to repent, right? It means to repent. Read verse 41. Huh? Let us lift up our hearts with our hands unto God. Let us lift up our hearts with our hands unto God. He said we should come and repent. You understand? Go to Act 3, verse 19. Go ahead. That, I should ask you, I should ask you. Now, those, now that you have heard the Bible, that you see what the Bible says, those pastors that their wife went to what do you think about them? They, I'm telling you, we, we've read it before. He said, Christ wonder. He said, He said, He said, Oh, uh, you don't see, time has gone. Don't worry, uh, read what you have read. Chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So He said, Repent ye therefore and be what? Converted. What does it mean to convert? You understand? So, what, what do you think will convert us? Please let me bring water for the sister. What do you think will convert us? If you have been doing evil, it will change by hearing the Good. So, let's confirm it in the Bible for you. Proverbs, uh, go to Psalms. Go to Psalms. Lift the lamentation. I don't need lamentation again. Psalms 19. 
serial conversers, serial conversers. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The book of Psalms 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Say the law. The laws of God is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. He said the law is what converts us. You understand? Eh? It's not the sweet, the sweet words of your pastor. It is the laws of God. What are those laws? Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not have hatred. Thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not be a murmurer. The women should not wear trousers. The men should not be shaving off their beards. The men should not be drunkards. Which one? Uh, let me know from from forest. How does it look? What do you mean? What do you mean, bush? I don't understand. Let me see. You know, those days they say that someone are mad. But between God and I, we never know if people are mad between us. So we just look somehow like they're mad. Because of that. So now you can't differentiate a madman that is mad on the road with prophets of God. People that are keeping beards, they look like mad person. So are you saying I look like a mad? Is it? Does it look like? Does it look like a mad person? Can a mad person, can a mad person operate the camera? Uh, okay, hold on. Give me, hold on. Do you know some, you know King Solomon? Do you know King Solomon? Do you know King Solomon? You are not paying attention now. Do you know King Solomon? Do you know the kind of hair he has? Huh? What kind of hair? So, he didn't look like a mad person. You people should be careful here. Yeah? Huh? You, huh? you have to be very careful with the thing. Uh, let the Bible tell you, Jimmy. So, Sons of Solomon. The book of Sons of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 11. His head is at the most fine gold. You earlier. I say you people, when you start, when you, when you grow up now and start living your head, don't pull relaxer in your head. That thing is from the devil. Yes. Good. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Okay, good. His head is at the most fine gold. His locks are bushy and black as a rabbit. They have dreadlocks. So when you see people that have dreadlocks now, you call them mad person, have you? If you uh -huh, that is different. So this is where a man who is responsible uh, is supposed to be also taking care of themselves. You understand? You can't look that hard. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is